Rattan is everywhere these days, at least when it comes to the material used in furniture. But what about the paint color called rattan? Well, that's what I got for you today in this video. It's by Benjamin Moore. And if you're looking for a fairly rich, warm color to build a color palette off of, that's exactly what I aim to do today. Not only am I going to give you a breakdown oh, wow of rattan from the Affinity color line, one of my favorites. I also have some other paint colors that work alongside it and some trim colors to use on your baseboards and your frames and your doors. If you're already a subscriber, then you know the deal. Show me some love with a press of that like button, please. And let's get to this video. So right away, if you own a rattan chair or two, or maybe some night tables, you may be familiar with its coloration. And this can vary from your very faint natural wood color, kind of beige, or something a little more rich and honey-like with maybe bits of orange or red in the undertones. Rattan, the paint color, is a little bit different because it's showing quite a bit more yellow in its undertones. In fact, I would almost describe it as a golden yellow tan, which sort of combines all those components together with a dash of gray mixed in as well. Like, kind of a medium gray. So you can pretty easily say that this color does lean warm, but it doesn't feel like it has the same warmth as what a rattan dresser might have, which, dare I say, would feel a little more neutral in person. Why don't we talk about some of the details behind this color, namely its light reflectance value. For those of you who are new to the channel, the all important LRV tells us how much light a color reflects which also means we'll find out how dark it is in person. And rattan is right around a 38 out of 100, which is a pretty dark, deep color. It's on the lower end of midtones for sure. So now we're talking about a color that has comforting warmth, much like the furniture it was named after, only you have quite a bit more depth to work with, but also some of that gray mixed in with that yellow, which can at times give the color a little bit of a green undertone that maybe you're not anticipating, dare I say. Oh my. It's funny because when I did a quick search for this color on Google for this video, what popped up right under it was a color called Natural Wicker by Benjamin Moore. And that color looked a little bit more what I feel rattan looks like in my mind. It's almost like Google's like, yeah, we get it. Natural wicker looks more rattan than rattan. I just feel that AF375 definitely leans more gold and with the right lighting, or maybe the wrong lighting in this case, you might start to see almost a chartreuse undertone coming through, which is an extremely polarizing color, very much the accent of accents, I feel. That being said, it is a color that is within the tan family of colors, which sort of equates itself as one of the more saturated mid-tone neutrals out there. So, still under that umbrella. La, la, eh, eh, eh. And it could absolutely work well in the space that you're working with. Just be aware with how saturated it is. And that just means it's a color that you'll notice for sure. It won't really blend into the background like a much lighter neutral would. And if that's what you're trying to do, then let's get into some of these other wall colors that I picked for it because the first one is very much on that subtle side of things. It's called Ballet White. And this color has some comparisons to Natural Wicker, which we talked about. Essentially, what I was going for was a very light rattan coloration. <laughs> Basically, a passive aggressive acknowledgement that this is what the color should really be. But more importantly, it is a fairly soft off-white that is essentially the safety net of this color palette. That's how I define it. Meaning if you want just that light neutral to go in the main areas, this will do just fine. It has the right amount of coloration to it, a touch of beige, and it's also muted with a very light gray as well. Every once in a while, it can show the slightest green undertone, like rattan, but it is extremely subtle. Sagebrush is the next color, and it's from the Benjamin Moore Color Stories palette of colors, those CSP colors, which are very nuanced and interesting to me. On the surface, this color just looks like a combination of blue, green, and gray, but as far as I know, CSP colors don't contain gray colorant, which means they achieve that subtle gray look by combining other pure color hues to give it a very sleek, almost chameleon-like feel to it. Very interesting to see in person. It's different than the other colors because it has more of an apparent coolness, but it still fits within the overall theme. Stonington gray is a slight curveball because 
While the other colors can lean a little bit warm and are definitely pretty saturated, this color acts as a bit of a steadying force. It's a crisp mid-tone gray that is very popular and a bit silvery in nature, and it can be used to add a more modern touch to help support rattan as a smaller accent color. So essentially you're not really leaning into that yellow tan, that just becomes that little pop. And then you have Stonington Gray, which is more of like a concrete kind of gray neutral canvas feel. My light trim color choice is Vanilla Ice Cream. And it's definitely light enough to feel bright, but I do enjoy its buttery, creamy warmth, which can help differentiate from stark whites like Chantilly Lace, for example. My dark color choice is North Creek Brown. Again, dipping into that warm undertone aspect. I will say though that a dark trim color with rattan walls can look very dramatic. And it probably won't be for everyone just because by incorporating a deep yellow tan with an even darker shade of brown could be a touch maximalist. But it's not about what I see. It's about what you see. So for everyone else, you got that white trim as a bit of a default. Here's the palette all together. Let me know what you think. And we got another one right over here that you can check out. Subscribe if you haven't, by the way, as it's the best way to stay up to date with our six videos a week.